Hello Cup Coders and welcome back to the Cup Code server. As you notice, I do have a mana bar and a burnout bar sitting down there. Um, hold on one second. All right, like I was saying, I do have a mana bar and a burnout bar, burnout bar at the bottom. That is because Ars Magica is installed on the server and it has been installed for quite some time now, actually. Um, unfortunately, the last video I made was made before Ars Magica was installed. So now we're catching up. Now, I really want to go out and get the, uh, the Ars Magica Compendium so we can get started with the Magica on, on this episode, but I don't quite have everything that I need. Um, first off, we're going to need, let's see, we need an item frame. Well, I need more sticks for an item frame, obviously. Uh, I'm also going to need some leather because we're going to need to make a book. And we're going to need to make the item frame. So we need at least two leather, one for, one for the book, one for the item frame, and three pieces of sugarcane. And we do have sugarcane out there. Uh, but what we need firsthand, and what I'd really like to get first, is we're going to need a bucket. Because what I want to do is I want to go out and find the liquid essence. But I want to pick it up and bring it back to the house. And set up a little liquid essence pool here at the house so that I don't have to travel a long ways. Because, unfortunately, when I installed Ars Magica onto the server, the retrogen was causing major errors. So we weren't able to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go digging down in here. And we're going to see if we can't find some iron. Because definitely I'm going to need some. Let's see, we get down here. What level are we at? Watching out why going down. So I think we're almost, yeah, we're right down in this in this sweet spot for iron and everything else. And you see I started digging down here. So we're just going to go ahead and, and, and start some mine shafting here going on here. Um, I know it's going to be very boring, but while we're doing this, I'll go ahead and talk and tell you about some other things that have been going on. Um, I, whether you've watched our other videos or not, by now, if you have, then by now you already know this. If not, well, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag and let you know that... The Cupco Gamers, we are now part of a network. That's right. We have joined the RPM network, also known as Maker Studios. So we are network affiliated now. Now, that won't affect the show for you guys. Uh, it won't actually do a whole lot for you. Here we go. We've got gold. Is that gold? Yeah, that's gold. So I'm going to need an iron pick for that. Um, it's not going to do a whole lot for you. It will do more for me and Cupcake Mama, on the other hand. What it does, now you guys may notice somewhat, in that every now and then when you watch our videos, some of the ads in the beginning of our videos, you won't be able to skip. Um, those are called premium ads. Now, they're not guaranteed, and not every ad is guaranteed to be premium, and not every premium ad will be unskippable. Um, I didn't even grab a torches. Let's go get some more torches. But what that does for us is premium ads actually tend to pay out more than the regular YouTube ads. Uh, in general, YouTube ads will pay anywhere from two to three cents. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's two to three cents per view. Every time somebody watches your show and they watch a certain amount of a commercial, then it'll pay two to three cents to the YouTuber for the, for that view. Um, it, like I said, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you've got a lot of people watching your shows, that tends to add up, and it can add up quickly. And this is how a lot of YouTubers are making their money. Let's see, we don't have a whole lot of torches here. Ooh, we don't have a whole lot of coal here either. Well, well I guess we're down there digging. I guess we're going to find some coal. Um, let's go ahead and make another pickaxe, because it looks like this one's about to break. Um, so that's about all it's really going to do is it'll give us it'll give us more money more revenue from this so it'll get us a little bit closer to actually being able to do this full time and that's you know really my dream is to be able to do YouTube full time so that I can wake up in the morning and I can just you know have my cup of coffee go to work in my bedroom or my office or wherever I happen to be recording that day uh, that that's my dream is you know just wake up start recording. You know, record it, get it into that. Every day, literally, what I want is to record the episode that will be going up that day. Whereas right now, I'm recording each weekend for the following week. Now, and, and that's really got me into trouble this week. And, and, and we'll, we'll get into explaining that here in a minute. Um, but that's what I'd really like to do is I'd like to be able to wake up, go 
you know, to my office or my recording room, or whatever, record an episode for that day, then go ahead and render it and upload it that day. And it, it makes it easier because then, you know, as, as I'm recording day by day, I actually will end up with more to talk about each day than I do if I'm recording all my shows at once. So it can make the, the videos a little more interesting. I have more to talk about. Um, which will be the case this week, probably. Uh, so that's what I really want to do. And being part of a network will help help get us closer to that goal because it will actually get us more revenue per view. Uh, it's not going to make us to that goal. And, and the reason is because we need a lot of viewers in order to get to that, that goal of being able to do YouTube full time. And it's not something I really expect to happen over the next year or two or actually I, I actually can't even say that i really expect it to happen a whole lot i it it's something i would love i would hope that it would happen eventually but i'm not banking on it i can't count on it the only way i can count on it hap actually happen right now is if i won the lottery but every day i wake up and i look at my youtube channel i look at the statistics and look at how many subscribers we have and how many views we have and Literally every other day, I'm seeing an increase. It, 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 it's awesome, and it, it really makes me think that hey, maybe I am doing something right. And obviously, I'm not doing something right here because I'm not finding any iron. But we'll just keep going. Um, it makes me really feel like I'm doing something right. Like hey, you know, these people, you guys are watching, you're enjoying what I'm doing, and at least, I mean, some of most, many of you are saying that you're enjoying it. A lot of you aren't commenting at all, which, I mean, I guess if you're no comments, better than a bad comment, right? I don't know. So, I mean, that's all I can really think is that, hey, I must be doing okay. So, and the channel's still growing consistently, kind of. Um, by that, I mean we're gaining at least a subscriber every other day, which it's way huge, mongus. I mean, it's huge compared to what we were doing to start with. And I know this is really dark down here, but uh, let's let's go. Tell you what, we're gonna grab that. Where's that last torch I had? We're gonna we're gonna translocate that last torch. We're just gonna pick it up and carry it with us and lay it down just so we can see where we're at. Maybe, maybe that'll help. There we go. Um, let's see, what else? What else is on news items this week? Okay, so we I already told you about the, the, the network. So we are doing, have doing the network. Um, in fact, give me a second. Let me pull it up. I, I keep all my stuff. I keep a note list on my phone. So if I'm running out of things to talk about or if I just need a reminder of what to talk about, I can just look it up on my phone and say, hey, that's what I've got. Um, so, yeah, the next thing on the note list, obviously, is that we have reached 100 subscribers. Um, you probably already know this. We've reached it actually almost a week ago, and we released our 100 subscriber special, which was back, which was almost all of the pictures we took at Minecon. Uh, we published that out there so you guys can see it. Now, when I say almost, there were quite a few. There were a few pictures that I took out of the mix just because, well, you know, I got my thumb in the picture. Or the picture was too shaky to actually be able to see anything. Or it, you know, you couldn't really tell what was going on in the picture. But in general, if you could, if you could see what was going on in the picture, I tended to leave it in there. Just so that you guys could see what went on at Minecon and and how much you know it, it really was fun. It was, there was there was a lot of pictures from inside the uh, arena hall where everything else was. Ooh, oh, I just broke a pickaxe. My second pickaxe and still no iron. We're, we've got problems here, guys. Um, so there's a lot of pictures that you know you'll see pictures in there. There's at least one or two pictures of me. Uh, you'll find me wearing my my fedora. Uh, there's a couple pictures of Cupcake Mama in there, so if you haven't seen what she looks like already, then you can see it in there. Um, but for the fastest way to see what me and Cupcake Mama look like, go look on our channel for the Ouya unboxing video, and you'll see you'll see what we look like in there. Um, other than that, weekly schedule. This week, our, all our shows were pushed back by one day. I'm sure you've already figured that part out. And there is a reason for that. It's because I've been working massive overtime at work here recently. Um, we've had a major rush to get some things finished. And just, you know, 
not enough time in the day to get everything done. So well, that's what we've been working on. I ended up having to work a lot of overtime to get it done. So I wasn't able to do all my recording last weekend like I normally do. And that ended up, you know, that had negative effects. In that, I ended up recording most of my shows on Sunday night instead of Saturday. Uh, I usually record all my shows on Saturday night, so I ended up recording two shows on Sunday night. And by the time I stopped recording, it was really, really late, or I should say early in the morning. And it was time for me to go to bed because I had to go to work the next day. So then I recorded the Hex Hit show on Monday night, which, you know, like I said, everything normally gets recorded on Saturday. So it's kind of off schedule. And here I am recording Cup Code Server on this Tuesday night so that I can get it uploaded and ready to go. Now, that also ended up pushing back all our release schedules by one day because I was not able to get the Arts Magic tutorial up on Sunday when I normally try to get it up. Um, I actually ended up having to post it out. Oh, no, I need food. I can't. I'm just running back and forth. That's, I'm going to call this show, this episode, Running. That's, that, that, that's exactly what this show is going to be, Running. So the Ars Magica was not able to publish on Sunday as I normally do, so I ended up having published it on Monday. Arcania was on Tuesday, Hexit was being released on Wednesday, and this episode that I'm recording right now will be oh, we are definitely hungry. Uh, this episode will be will be released on Thursday. Now I tell you all that because I'm really thinking. Do I have any food in here? Uh, I got rotten flesh. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I have food. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We are, we are, we are rescued. Here we go. I tell you that because now that I pushed everything back so that it's Monday through Thursday, I'm actually thinking I'm going to leave it there. Um, the reason being is, well, it gives me an extra day to make sure I get all my recording done. And that's exactly what it does. It, it gives me one whole, one more day to get, get all my recording done, just in case something goes wrong, like it did this weekend, where I had to work, you know, most, almost all the weekend, so I wasn't able to record. So that'll give me an extra day to get my recording done, so that I can get it up, so you guys can see it. Um, in addition to that, if it ever gets to a point where I'm doing this full time, then I'm actually going to want to do it Monday through Friday, anyways. And so that just perfectly lines it up so that if I ever get there, I'm already on the schedule. And nothing has to be, excuse me, hiccups, adjusted, you know, for that event. Which, you know, like I said, I'm not guaranteeing it. I'm not counting on it. Oh, what's this? We have an opening here. Here we go. All right, we have lava. All right. A little bit of light there. That's good. Well, let's dig around the lava. Cause sometimes we dig around the lava, we can often find iron and diamond. We could definitely use some diamond. So we'll do that. Um, so that's it for the weekly schedule. I am going to go ahead and leave it on a Monday through Thursday schedule, like it is, like I did this week. Um, it was unintentional to start with, but now that it's there, I think I'm going to leave it there just because it makes it easier for me. Uh, gives you guys a definite, you know. I don't have, you don't have to worry about, you know, if I end up working all weekend again like I did this weekend, you don't have to worry about everything being pushed back again. So I'm going to do that. Um, also in the news is Marillis Action, which is the software I used to record with, oops, has been modified apparently. They, they published a release on it and the current version actually allows me to record my vocals to a separate audio stream. Now, I know you guys have heard me talking about this before. Um, I wanted to use DxTory because DxTory allowed me to do that. And we had a problem with DxTory and, and I chose not, decided not to use DxTory ever again as a result of it. Well, now Morales Action allows me to do exactly the same thing DxTory allowed me to do, which means, which is great because that means I have more control over the audio um, I can actually control the vocal audio separately from the game audio um, because it's being recorded separately. So when it comes time for me to go and edit the video and render it, I can, yay, iron! I can actually change the volume 
of my vocals separately from the game audio. So if the game audio is too quiet, I can increase its volume. Or if my vocals are too quiet, I can in increase its volume. Um, it allows me to have more control over balancing of the audio, which is something that we've had problems with in the past and on other episodes and other shows a lot. Now, this is great. This is awesome news for the Cupcode server show. It's awesome news for the Arth Magica tutorial and the Arcania show. Unfortunately, it will not affect my Hexit show. And that's because I'm using Fraps to record Hexit because Marilla's action still will not allow me to bind my recording key to whatever key I want. They're still being very particular about only combining it to function keys, the F1 through F12. And I think there's a few other keys that I combine it, bind it to. And that's a problem for me because, well, those function keys are in use by Hexit. Um, it's been more specifically, F9, which is what I use to start and stop recording in Marillas right now, is in use by Hexit. Um, every time I hit F9 in Hexit, it starts showing me, I, I think it's the grids. It, it shows me a border around the grid, around, around the, the chunks, the, the world chunks. And, and obviously I don't want to do that every time I want to record, you know, we're not going to record with the world chunks being shown and stuff. It's just cruddy. And since Marilla's action won't allow me to key bind it to the key I want, I can't circumvent that. Um, I mean, yeah, I could go and I can change the settings in, in, in Hexit to, to use a different key. But that gets to be a problem when I'm mean, playing, recording multiple shows. Like, for instance, if I, if I decide to record a Feed the Beast game or a Minecraft Feed the Beast or any other Tech it mod pack. Essentially, it means that every time I record a new mod pack, I would have to go and and reset all the key bindings for the game. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather set the key binding for my recording software as opposed to setting the key bindings for the game because I might forget to change the key binding for a game. Um, whereas I won't. Whereas the recording software is kind of you know set it once, forget it type deal. So you can obviously tell where my loyalties lie on that. So, all right. So we're gonna grab some. While we're waiting for that to cook, we're gonna grab some sugar cane. As you see, we've got quite a bit of it there. Um, I am playing on far render. Whoa! Shoot! He just kind of came out of nowhere, didn't he? I believe I am playing on far render distance, which is why you sh you can see that, that what looks like it be a chimney stack over there. That is the letter T 6s house. Um, Actually, actually let's, let's go check that out real quick. I want to show you what we've done. Um, me, Cupcake Mama, and Letter T6 were here playing on on the server one day off off camera, and we were out. He had a he has a, a castle that he was building, and we went and we were over there watching him build the castle and helping you know giving him tips like hey let's do this let's do that type of deal. And Cupcake Mama was running out of cigarettes and stuff. So I was getting ready to leave to go out and get cigarettes. So I told Letter T6 that I was headed out to go get some nicotine for Cupcake Mama. And he said to get him some too. So later, several days later, me and Cupcake Mama were on the server without Letter T6. And we decided to prank him by building cigarettes by his houses. And that's exactly what we did. So we're going to walk in here and show you this. So we built a cigarette by his house. Now he has since incorporated it into his building. But this is the cigarette that we built. You see, he he hasn't removed the signs. I don't think he can actually. Uh, he said you can. You said to buy you some nicotine. This is all I found. And so we put a cigarette up there with some smokestacks coming off of it. We just thought it was you know kind of funny, fun. He liked it. Like I said, he he did and he did like the cigarette and he has built it into his house. That is actually he incorporated that and it is now his chimney for his house, which pretty cool. Let's see. By now we should have enough iron that we can make an iron pickaxe and maybe a bucket. Maybe. I don't know how much I picked up. As you see, we do have Madman611 is, is on the server somewhere. He, we, I was talking to him before we started recording and he said that he was out deep in the swamp. Now, I don't know if he was talking about this swamp or another swamp. But he is somewhere out there in the swamps, in the swampland, building his house. Here we are. Let's see. 
God, I hate swimming. It's so slow. Alright, so here we are back at the house. Let's go see how our iron is. Um, we have the sugar cane. Next thing we're going to need is the cows. Where are we at? So we got six pieces of iron ingot. That's great. That's awesome. So that means we can make it a pickaxe. Except we don't have any wood. Oh, wait. No, wait. There it is. There. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, mages. Open your eyes. You can see it right there. All right. So we're going to make one pickaxe and a bucket. That way we can go out. We can look for the essence and see if we can't find the essence. And if we can, we'll bring some back with us. I'd actually like to get several more buckets. Several more buckets. By several, I'm talking like at least three more buckets. So we have four buckets total. Uh, that way we can bring a whole thing of it back. But for now, that'll be good. Um... We need cows now, so we need to go out and find, see if we can't find some cows. This one, I thought I heard some over there, but it's probably his, his garden. Um, we'll just walk around the swamp. Let's let, let's go exploring. That, that's exactly what we're going to do. We've got about 10 minutes left. We're going to go exploring real quick and see what we can't find. Now that we've spent half of the episode underground mining and digging and running back and forth. Running, running, remember? Episodes, running. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to walk out here. Let's grab some of these over here. Might as well. Now I know, it, and I've gotten this comment on one of my other shows, is that it a lot of, by now all of you have seen a lot of shows where people are just doing the whole Minecraft thing, you know, doing the, the survival thing, building a house and building a farm and all that. And it's, it's well played out. And I'll admit that, yes. But there's, and, and but I still I'm still gonna do it on this series. You are literally going to watch everything I do on this series. If I if I make iron, if I use iron anywhere, somewhere you've seen me digging that iron up. You've seen me smelting the iron, the whole nine yards. If I use a tool in this in this series, you will have seen me obtaining all the materials and making the tool literally everything you see me do in the series will have been done everything you see me use on this series will have been obtained on this series and there's a reason for that um, part of the reason is because I am the server administrator I do have the ability to go into creative mode and load everything in so by doing everything on camera that ensures that you know for a fact that nothing on this series that you're watching it's cheated. Everything is done in pure survival. That's one reason for it. Um, the other reason is by doing it, you know, all strictly on camera, it, it allows me to segregate what I do off camera versus what I do on camera. So when I go off camera, as you already know, I clear my inventory. That way, when I leave and I go off camera, I'm in my administrative role. If I load something in, I don't have to worry about anything. Now, I know I said in previous episodes that I was thinking about getting a second that I was hoping to get a secondary account from Minecon. Unfortunately, they did not give out free accounts this year like they have in the previous years. So disappointing. So disappointing. Um, but that's I, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to get a secondary account. I'm still going to get a secondary account. Um, just because of the purpose and reason why I want it. I really do want a secondary account just for it to be the system administrator, the server administrator. I want to have that separated from this account that I'm playing on. And I really do want this account to be just a player account. I don't want it to have the access to doing anything in creative mode. Um, the reason is, is if I get to that point and this player, this character becomes a pure player character, it'll become a VIP character, which once again, does not give it access to VIP. It'll be just the same as a player with a couple of YouTube commands extra. Yeah, we are not finding our home, so I'm going to have to actually turn around and head back soon so I can finish. Or, no, actually, I'll probably use slash home or something. Ooh, better idea. We'll slash spawn back home. Okay, we'll take this guy off. Die, die. Oh, yeah, we, we, can, we can use it. Give me the experience. That's right. So we'll slash spawn back home because there have been some changes in spawn. Not a whole lot, but enough. Oh. Okay, or we'll die and come to spawn. That's fine. So we'll walk around spawn real quick and show you what's happened. First off is this here. This is this is spawn. 
So when you first load into the game, this is where you'll start at now. I built this little floating island above the world. Uh, I know you can't really see over it. Uh, that, that this is literally above spawn, so regular players will not be able to, to break anything here. Um, but in order to get down, it's very simple. If When you come in, in fact, the signs tell you exactly what to do. Right click up here, and that opens the portal, and then just walk through the portal. And here we are in spawn. Now, I've actually... That's backwards. I think I need to turn that around. Cause the entire idea is when you're up in the island, which you can see it right there, and you start off, you're facing this way. You're facing towards the south. And so I wanted you to enter the portal south and come out of it facing south. But unfortunately, it doesn't do that. So we'll have to fix that later. Um, far as everything else goes, hey, yeah, let's, let's, let's walk around and better yet. We're going to use back to go back and get my stuff real quick. All right, we have our stuff here. There we go. So now we're going to go slash spawn. That'll take us back to spawn, or it should, in a second, if I survive. There we go. All right, so we are back at spawn. We'll wait. Now, every time you teleport, you have to wait a second. Otherwise, you will get lagged. This is not the server lagging you. This is you being lagged while it, it while your client requests for the information about everything around where you're at. So now that we're back at spawn, we're going to go back in here. I do have something. Whoa. Did I like not? There we go. I do have something to show you. It, it's really, really cool. It Actually, I didn't show this to you earlier. I don't think... I don't remember, but I, but whether I did or not, I'm going to show it to you anyways. Um, we do have some Thanksgiving decorations. Now, these were Halloween decorations. They were glowing pumpkins, um, but I've removed the lanterns and lanterns. I've removed the jack-o'-lanterns and placed regular pumpkins, so that's our Halloween decoration, our Thanksgiving decoration. I know it's not much. I'm not that great at decorating, but here we go. So this is also another new addition. I don't know if I showed you this last episode, but... Here it is. Um, me and the letter T6 worked together to build this. I pretty much placed the, the groundwork for it, and he did this nice ep epic little build here for this, I guess, mausoleum of sorts. But you walk in here. You see the ghost he's coming out. Push the button. And that brings you down into the maze. Now, this is a maze. It is under spawn, so regular players will not be able to break anything. Um... I'll be honest with you, I built this entire maze, but I have absolutely no clue how to get through it. And that is because of the way I built it. I used a, a building technique that allowed me to not know how it was built. No, here's how here's how it was done. Is I first went through and I made little squares, one block high, all around the place. So this, you'll find that this maze is cubed, so it's perfect for drawing out on a graph paper. And that's literally what I did, is I made one huge graph all the way through the maze. Now, this is a five-floor maze. All right? And this, I put a little, you know, squares right here on the top of the floor. So it was like a little all the walls. And I went through and I passed out the, the main pathway. Then I went through and passed out everything else and then built up the walls. That allows me to, by the time I was done, I don't have any clue what the original path looked like. So I have no idea how to get through the maze, I'm guessing, as I go through this. Um, only one other person has actually been through the maze so far, and that is the letter T6. I did follow him while he was he was in create he was in survival mode, and he fought through this maze. And this there will be mobs in the maze. They will spawn. There are no spawners in the maze because well I'm using redstone torches to light up the maze. That makes it so that you know the mobs will still spawn, but yet you have light so you can see by. Um, my initial idea when I followed the letter T6 through the maze, he had enough of a difficulty getting through the maze that I didn't feel that we really needed mob spawners in the maze. Now, obviously, I haven't run into any enemies yet, but they are in here, I promise you. Um, with the 162 update to Minecraft, that makes it really difficult because, you know, skeletons can shoot you a lot a lot better and the mo zombies will just spawn after spawn after you kill them so the maze is tough but what i was getting to is that the letter t6 actually took two hours just to get through the maze now i will let you know i will tell you 
At the end of the maze, there is a treasure chest that is filled with goodies. You will find six diamond, six gold, six iron, six emerald. I think that's called emerald, but you know the the the, the currency that you trade with villagers with. You'll find six of those in there, and you'll find a silk touch enchantment book, along along with two other enchantment books. So there are three enchantment books and a whole wealth of materials that are sitting in the chest at the end. Now, once somebody makes it through the maze and they empty the chest out, it is set so that it will automatically, anytime somebody is in the spawn area, if the chest is empty, it'll let us know. It'll tell the moderators and you know whatever mod is on that the chest needs to be refilled. So that way the mods can go there. They have a warp that they can go straight to it and refill the chest for the next player. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So we're going to go ahead and slash spawn... Slash home, I think. Yep. Slash home. Home. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. Slash home bed. I think that should be my admin home, actually. Yeah, that is my admin home. So I don't have a slash home set for my, my new house yet. So we're going to spawn and we're going to walk back to my my current home. It'll take just a second to spawn. Do, 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 do. And then we're going to end the episode back at my second home. As you see, I do have maps built up here. Walk through. Walk through. The lag is killing me. All right, and what you see coming up beside my cursor right there, so you're aware, Whenever you're in spawn, you will have speed 2 cast on you. We do have um, a, a beacon set in spawn specifically to give you that. As you can see right there, we can look down and see the mall. Look at that. There you go. I'm going to walk through this now. There we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and walk back to my house, and we're going to finish it off at my, at my survival home. And here is the beacon I told you about. Now, this will give us speed. Now... The maze that I just took you into and talked a little bit about, that is under spawn. So in throughout parts of the maze, you will have speed applied onto you while you're going through the maze. Now, when Letter T6 tested the maze out, like I said, it took him two hours to get through it. He did say that the speed was both a hindrance and a help. Speed helps you get through the maze faster, but at the same time, it also makes you run around the maze faster. And, and I know that sounds like, oh, well, it just makes you get through the maze faster. Well, no, it also gets you around the corners faster so that you run into the enemy sooner or faster or you have less reaction time because you're running so quick. So it could actually hurt you. And not only that, the speed also affects the mobs. So your mobs will be a little bit faster. You'll have faster zombies, faster skeletons coming after you. So that makes the, the maze a little bit tougher. And that's also part of the reason why we don't have spawners in the maze. I don't. I personally never felt that we needed them. So here we go, guys. You are watching me as I'm walking back from spawn. This is the, the path that I've been taking here recently simply because, well, the letter T6 went and built this nice little path here that leads to his house, which happens to be right across the way from where my house, my spawn, my survival home is. Um, and so that's, I just follow this path. It makes it easier to find everything. Let's go ahead and see if we can run it. I don't know if we're going to run all the way. Um, we are obviously getting hungry. I'm going to have to eat when I get there. And you can see his house right there already. Now, Letter T6 has been doing a lot of work. I, I gave him... He, he is our mod. I don't, I'm sure I probably told you that already. He is our mod. We do have a builder on staff now. Um, the builder, from my understanding, will only be available to come online on the weekends. So he, now he wasn't able to come on last weekend. I don't know, you know, what what kept him. I don't know if he just got busy or or whatnot. Um, but he, he lives in Germany, so it does make it a little bit tougher for him to come in. Um, actually, I don't know really if he was did come in last weekend. Uh, I haven't checked the mod. The I have not checked the logs, and like I said, I was working most of the weekend, so I wasn't able to be on either. So I couldn't really tell you if he's been on or not. Um, 
but I did test him out. He is a fair, he is really good at building. I mean, let me put it this way. I gave him an area, I gave him creative mode and I gave him a small area to build in and I told him to go ahead and build something to show me what he, what he could do. And in less than 30 minutes, he had built me an extremely awesome home in that area that I assigned him to, assigned to him. And he has, and I have assigned that home to him as his house, it is right by spawn. So when you come onto the server, walk over towards the arena and look around by the arena. Like if, like say that torch is the arena and the mall is over there, then you're going to look this way and you're going to find, you'll see his house sitting there. It, it's really awesome. He has not made any changes to it since he initially built it. And what you see there literally was built in less than 15 minutes. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys. Well, we're here. That is everything in my inventory is, is sitting in, in, in the spawn the survival chest. So that's it for this episode. I want to say thank you for watching. As always, a like and a share lets us know that you care and gets us out there. See you on the server and in the next episode.